Good morning and welcome to the Assembly of God You're International. You may be in this country, some other country, you may be any place, but you're listening to the Word of God and we appreciate you being and tuning in this morning. So I was doing my personal devotions. I came across some scripture that just struck my heart and I want to share it with you because we live in a world that's kind of topsy turvy We're not sure what's going to happen and not what's sure is going to happen with us. So I just want to take and share a piece of scripture that gives us our hope. Paul writes it in the 15th chapter of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. It says, Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this incorruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortality must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. We look around and we see death all around us, but it's going to be swallowed up in victory through Jesus Christ. And the 55th, 55th verse says, O death, where is your sting? Hades, where is your victory? They have no victory. Our victory is in the risen Lord. And so as you worth, worship with us this morning, know that victory is yours because Jesus is alive. Victory is yours because we serve a risen Lord. He's not some figment of some imagination. But Jesus is alive. Jesus is real. And he's coming back to claim you if you love him as your own Savior, if you've accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Father, we thank you that we can come to you. We thank you that you are our risen Lord. We thank you, Father, that you raised from the dead, that you brought Jesus back, that he might come back and take us to be with you and to with himself. Father, we give you praise. Father, those that might be sick in this congregation, those that might be sick in the congregation that's watching on the Internet, we pray your Holy Spirit's healing touch to reach out, help them to reach through, touch the garment of Jesus, and be healed. In Jesus' name, amen. Is it still on? Excellent. Thank you, Pastor Larry. Our church is connected with missionaries all around the world. We have a missions heart, don't we? And today in our live service, we're having a missions challenge um, from some new folks that we are, are meeting, the Lord is sending out. And some of our missionaries are going to areas that are considered sensitive in our world, politically or culturally sensitive areas. And we support some missionaries um, who are in those kind of categories. And we cannot um, give information online about their ministries. But we know that all of our missionaries are in our hearts and in our prayers that God is sending out. And we thank God for the opportunity to touch especially the fields that are considered sensitive. There is no barrier that the Lord can't get through. The Lord is already the light penetrates the darkness. Aren't you glad for that? Hallelujah. Every, every obstacle, every barrier, every dark place, the gospel is going forth. Thank God for those who go. And thank God for those who send. So we appreciate those who um, participate in our missions giving, um, those who are able to come to service. And there are some who are not able to join us for live services but are still uh, consistently mailing in missions giving. And we just thank God that we can support our missions team in these ways. I have a, just a devotional about missions that I want us to share. Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. Thank God for the revelation that God gave to the Apostle John, the vision of heaven. Revelation 5, 9. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. Hallelujah. The plan of the ages is in his hands. The cross is for everyone. Thank God the shadow of the cross reaches all around the world. The message of Jesus around the world. Redemption is for whosoever. Whosoever. His redemption is available. It says every tribe, every tongue, every people, every nation. People who might look like me and people who might not look like me. People who act like me and maybe people who don't act like me. People that I, you know, might naturally take a shine to, and others I have to warm up to uh, deliberately. Every tribe, every tongue, every people, every nation, the gospel of Jesus Christ goes forth around this world. So we thank God for the missions themes 
that come to us, the missions guests that we have, and the opportunities that we have. And let's pray about our missions calling. We thank you, Lord, for the ways that you've touched our lives. Lord, you've brought us to the Savior. You've brought us to the truth. Lord, none of us are deserving of the, of the gospel message, yet it came to us in peace with God through Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for this. So, Lord, I just pray that those who go forth into this world in places familiar, in places that are a challenge, there are some of our missions teams who have to learn languages. Some of our missions teams have to learn cultures and a variety of challenges. But, Lord, you're, you're going with them. It's your plan, O oh Lord, and you will empower, you will strengthen, Lord, because you desire to draw into your heavenly kingdom, the forever kingdom, to desire, Lord, you desire to bring in those from every tribe and every tongue and every people and every nation. So, Lord, I pray that you will once again spark within us this heart, this flame of desire to see the good news go forth, Lord, that hearts will turn to you. Lord, put down the works of the enemy and overcome, O oh Lord, and pierce the darkness, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.